So what we're going to talk about here is ways to make our model have better curvature. This is especially important if you have a consumer product or it's held with your hands. So if you take a look here where these faces combine, we have this edge here and you could definitely feel this if you ran your finger over it. What we want to do is we want to make this these three faces kind of converge and have better curvature. So the way that we're going to accomplish this is we're going to come in and use this sketch that's been drawn on our center plane. So basically, I simply just sketched over the area that we want to remove and patch with a better surface. So using this sketch, we can come up to features, curves, and use a split line. That's going to take this sketch and project it onto these multiple faces. If I go ahead and click OK, what we'll be able to see is if I turn on my edges again, we can see the areas and those faces have been now split by that sketch. By doing so, we can now go to Direct Editing, Delete Face, and delete these areas, basically cutting out the quote-unquote bad part. Now that I have that area cut out, what this allows me to do is it also lets me come in here and add a fillet to this area. By adding a fillet to this edge, we'll go to Features, Fillet. This is going to be a variable fillet, and we're going to set all of them as 14 millimeters and click Set All. Then I do want it to transition and get smaller towards the end, so we'll say that this end over here should be one millimeter. So this is now transitioning from a 14 millimeter down to a one millimeter. If I go ahead and click OK, we now have a better transition into that open spot that we just created with the split line and the delete face tool. So by converting it into a surface body, which was done using that delete face tool, we now can use surfacing tools. If I go up to surfaces, I can choose filled surface. If you have a closed boundary, such as this area here, which you can see with the blue edge, I can right click on it and click select open loop. Then I can choose what kind of tangency I want. Let's say we want it to be tangent and I want to apply it to all edges. You can also see the curvature and you can make it even a little bit more easy to see what's going on by turning on your curvature display. Then I can click Merge Result, and if it creates a closed volume, we can create a solid from it. Then if I go ahead and click OK to accept this, you can see that we now have passed our geometry, and it is back to solid geometry. So now if I come in and I turn off my edges, you can see that we have a smoother transition here, and we have a nice curvature for our model.